topic for today is sex determination and sex link genes. But our focus has something to do with sex determination. Here are the learning objectives. First, differentiate male and female chromosomes. And second, determine the probability of having a male or female gender of offspring. But before we move on to the deeper discussion, let's have this think about it question. The question is, what happens to the sex of the organism if there is an error occurs in the gamete formation? Now, for the meantime, what I want you to do is to remember this question. So at the end of this video recorded discussion, that's the time that you will provide your explanation regarding this question. Now, let's take a look on these illustrations. So these two, these illustrations or these two pictures are all about human genome. So these pictures show human genome or human chromosomes. So human chromosomes are arranged, okay, uh, from tallest, uh, uh, as being pointed by my cursor, from tallest up to the shortest. That is only for uh, pair one up to pair twenty second, okay, or pair number 22. Now, you've noticed also that chromosomes are in pairs. So, from what you had before from my previous uh, video recorded discussion, so kaya may pairing, that means chromosomes are homologous to one another. Okay? So, chromosomes 1 to 22 are known to be body chromosomes or we call it as your uh, somatic okay somatic in nature somatic or your autosomes so synonymous lang yan mga anak sa body chromosomes so this is from first pair to 22nd pair okay now the 23rd pair the one I'm circling using my pen here so these are known to be your uh, sex chromosomes, your sex chromosomes, or in other terms they call it as gametes, or in other terms they call it uh, as allosomes. Okay, so that is your twenty-third pair. Okay, from what you've noticed from the illustration, this first picture you no know, differs in terms of having Y chromosome. So, from what you had last time, from what you've learned, an XY organism is known to be a male human. Okay, well, the XX, I mean, 23rd pair chromosome with XX chromosomes are known to be a female human organism. Okay, so they differ in terms of the number 23rd chromosome. But they are just similar in terms of having uh, having chromosomes in terms of their uh, somatic chromosomes or body chromosomes. So again, they are arranged from tallest to the shortest okay, chromosomes. Now we're done differentiating the chromosomes found in human male and female. What we're going to do next is for us to determine the probability of having a male and a female offspring. Now, to do that, let's have this illustration. This, this we call uh, as the sex determination system or we, we can identify the, the percent of probability of having a male and female offspring using chromosomal method. Okay? Chromosomal method and sex determination system is just the same because we're after looking to the chromosomes XY and XX. Now, from what we had earlier, the human chromosome for for male, uh, as you've noticed here, using my cursor, this one, uh, uh, this is a way to represent the X chromosome and the Y chromosome. So that is for father. 
for for male organism, human organism. Now, other than having that sex chromosome, we also know the the, the fact that there are other chromosomes, which we know body chromosomes. Uh, we have forty four. Plus these two, all in all, we have forty six, right? On the other hand, we have this for mother sex chromosome for for mother that is your X chromosomes. So a way to represent that is through this illustration, the one I'm pointing using my my pen. So other than this sex chromosome, there are also forty four chromosomes plus this one, all in all, forty six. Now. For us to know the the gender of the offspring, so we know for a fact that the, the parents should undergo sexual intercourse, right? The father and the mother. Now, the father will give his material to the mother, and that material is in a form of your sperm. Okay, the sperm, and sperm forms in the process known to be spermatogenesis. So sperm forms through the the process known to be spermatogenesis. Genesis means beginning, uh, sp- uh, beginning of the formation of the sperm. So that's the meaning of spermatogenesis. Now for the for the egg cell to be formed, so that must under uh, that uh, that process is under oo. Genesis. So Genesis is still uh, synonyms for beginning. Oo is the the cell for uh, this process, which is your oocytes. Okay. So those two processes are uh, 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 these two processes fall in your uh, topic learned when you are in grade eight, which is the meiosis process. Okay, meiosis. So again, uh, sperm forms through the process known to be spermatogenesis, and uh, egg cell forms through the process known to be oogenesis. Now, that the sperm is considered to be haploid. So this is haploid. Okay, the one being. Uh, Transferred to your mother as the material of the father is is just is known to be haploid, which means to say it contains 23 chromosomes. Okay, 23 chromosomes. Now the other 23, in order for for the offspring to have a complete set of chromosomes, which is 46 or 23 pairs, that came from the mother material, from the oocyte, or from the egg cell. So that is also haploid. Okay. So that is also haploid 23. So 23 plus 23 is just 46. Now, let's focus on this one, this system, in order for us to identify the probability of having a male and a female child. Now, remember that the the sperm carries either X chromosome or Y chromosome. While for the egg cell, it carries only X chromosome. Okay? So, this is X and this is Y. Now, you cross that to another X following this uh, line. Okay? That gives us no, X, X. No? If that is X, S, that simply means the child is female. Now, using this uh, allele, the X, you cross that to another X that gives you another female child. Well, using this allele now for your Y chromosome, so you cross that to X that gives you a male child, and you cross it to another uh, X chromosome that gives you another male child. Now, all in all, using this uh, system, this chromosomal method, okay, we can have 50% having a female child and another 50% having a male child okay so 50 50 is the probability for the parents to have a male child and a female uh, child now there are chances in a family that most of the children could be female or could be male so there are other factors to be considered 
no, kung bakit nagkaganon. But again, this is just probability. Now, if we are asked to identify the probability of having a male and a female child, the answer is always 50%. Now, another concept that you have to remember when it comes to the the gametes of the, the male is uh, other than having X and Y chromosome, chromosomes, this type of cro- sex chromosome is known to be heterogametic. Okay? Heterogametic. Hetero means two different chromosomes, the X and the Y. Now, for the female, so wala namang ibang chromosomes other than the X chromosome, so we call it as homogametic. The type of chromosome for girls or for female uh, is homo. Homogametic. Homo means uh, same. Okay? Same. So, again, we have 50% for female, 50% for male. So, from that discussion from chromosomal method, we can all agree that sex is determined by sex chromosomes, specifically uh, the Y chromosomes. Okay? And you might wonder why Y chromosome is the one responsible for, for determining the, the possible gender or uh, sex of the offspring because Y is the only chromosome that will enable the organism to become male. Okay? Now, pag X yun, automatically, uh, the chance of having a female is high than having a male one. Pero pag Y, yung, yung nakita in a given uh, sex chromosome, that automatically uh, lead us to uh, identify that the organism is male. So, sex is inherited when egg is fertilized by sperm through the process known to be fertilization. And this will be further discussed to, to you when you reach grade 10. So, and also, uh, concepts about spermatogenesis and oogenesis will be intensified on that grade level. So, the chance of having a male and female child is always 50%. Okay, so the indicator for us to know that the child is male is the Y chromosome because Y, there is a specific gene there. We call that gene as SRY gene. So that gene is responsible for the male uh, characteristics to be expressed. No? So just another concept lang to add, another trivia. All in all, all of us are, uh, are girls. No, sa womb ng ating parent okay, ng mother natin specifically, we are all girls we are all female after we reach, no, pag na-reach natin yung six, ika six month that's the time that the Y the, the, the SRY gene in the Y chromosome will be activated no, para sa mga magiging lalaki okay? now, to check if you really understand the concept let's have this activity so the title is Is it a boy or girl? So the direction is complete the given Punnett square and then answer the given question. So here's the Punnett square. So we have to cross a, a, a male parent to a female parent. So using this using the, the chromosomes XX and XY, we have to do Punnett square here. So, using my pen, let's go ahead and do that. So, you know that the process naman na, uh, uh, in terms of working with Punnett square. So, automatically, when we cross this one, the, the first allele to, the, to this another allele that give us XX. So, also in this uh, part of this pen, uh, Punnett square, likewise with this, this will give us XY and X. Now, that's the, the genotypes. These are the genotypes of the, the offspring, the possible genotypes of the offspring. And if we're going to you no know, to read it to read the phenotypic of the phenotype rather, so these these two are female. No, these are females. So these are males based on the genotype. No, well, from what you've learned earlier, XX is ma- a female. XY XY is male. XX is female. XY is male. Now, let's go ahead and proceed to this question. Question number one, what will be the sex of a child? 
produced when an egg is fertilized by a sperm that has a Y chromosome. So, the Y fertilizes uh, the egg. Automatically, we know the egg chromosomes, uh, egg rather, not the chromosome, egg cells, no? the one that they carry are X chromosomes, no X only X chromosomes, no. So when that fertilizes by Y chromosome, automatically, so the sex of the the, the child is male, right? So male, because X uh, cross by Y is X Y, will that gives us uh, a male ch- uh, child? Now question number two: What type of sperm must fertilize an egg? to result in a female child kailangan natin no, uh, the genotype no uh, for female is xx and uh, the type of sperm that must uh, fertilize an egg is it must carry an x chromosome no kasi nga egg is always x chromosome yan so when you cross that that will give you a female child now, third question, based on this Punnett square, what percent of children would you expect to be male? Now, going back to this Punnett square, we can say that these two are female, right? And this one and another one, these are males. Huh? Now, we are asked to identify the percent. So, this is 25 XY means male. Another 25, when we add them, we, that gives us 50%. So that's, that's the answer for, for this question, 50%. Now, fourth question, which sex chromosome is present uh, in both male and female? So going back to this uh, Punnett square, looking to the genotypes of the possible offspring. So we can all agree that both of female and male no in terms of their genotype meron silang x chromosome okay so that is the the chromosome present in both uh, gender or sex so the the last question in for which sex chromosomes determine okay that means a, a person's sex so from what i discussed earlier so the one that dictates you know, the gender of an organism specifically in humans that is your Y chromosome. Okay? So, that's the answer for this particular uh, activity. Hope you learn, no? Hope you intensify the, the concept you've learned earlier. Now, going back to think about it question. What happens to the sex of the organism if there is an error occurs in the gamete formation? So, this is the time for you to type your explanation or your answer in the comment section below in order for you to have additional recitation points.